Hello dear friends, today I will start a series of four videos to tell you all about Harry's sad ending after he married Meghan Markle. Here is part one of it, The Unruly Prince. Let's enjoy ourselves together. As we all know, Prince Harry is a famous member of the British royal family. He is also the youngest son of the future king. Harry was once one of the most popular members of the royal family until he married the American woman, Meghan Markle. What we saw next was a change in Harry's role within the royal family and his departure from the United Kingdom in the beginning of 2020. Since moving to America, Harry has chosen to live a new life, although he is still a member of the royal family. Harry does not behave like a well-respected relative and has actually become the black sheep of the family. It is sad that Harry has made himself unavailable to support his grandmother the Queen, his father and, most importantly, his brother William. Being the grandson of the reigning monarch, Harry grew up with everything he could possibly wish for. It was a very privileged upbringing indeed. We observed Harry growing up and we were entertained by his antics. But now things have changed and that loud booing from his countrymen must have been an enormous crushing blow to his overly fragile ego. Before Harry's marriage to Meghan, he had successfully completed his military career. He then went on and made a few achievements, such as establishing the Invictus Games for wounded veterans. He also involved himself in various charities that his mother, Princess Diana, had been interested in. Harry was now showing an interest in humanitarian causes and his future within the royal family seemed to hold a great deal of promise. The world was eagerly watching. But in less than a decade, things have dramatically changed. Harry had once been a prominent member of the royal family, but at the Queen's 70th Jubilee this past June, he was relegated to the second row. He and his wife had been seated next to the less important royals at the St Paul's Thanksgiving service. Harry had had a look of suppressed anger on his face as he looked across the cathedral to see where his family was sitting on the other side. This was the last time we witnessed Harry and Meghan spending time with the royals because they left and missed the rest of the buoyant jubilee festivities. The world had loved watching Harry grow up, and he was always a great favourite. His loyal family had also always stood by him, through bad times and good. After the tragic death of his mother, Diana, the nation adopted Harry into their hearts. His father, Prince Charles, and grandparents, the Queen and Prince Philip, continued to support Harry well into his thirties. Do you know that Harry was not good at school? He actually barely managed to get into the prestigious school Eton. As he grew up, he began being criticised by the press. He was always getting into fights with photographers, as well as living it up at bars. Harry once dressed up as a Nazi for a party, and this was a very stupid idea. A photograph of Harry wearing a swastika on his uniform was circulated around the world in all the newspapers. What on earth was Harry thinking wearing such a uniform? He did, however, issue an apology, but the world was puzzled nevertheless. When Harry was younger, he loved sports 
as well as hunting. He had hunted game in Africa as well as on his family estates. He had been against the implementation of hunting restrictions in the United Kingdom and he had all his old school friends around him to support him. Harry had always been a lively young man, but unfortunately without much direction. He was always losing his temper and involving himself in indulgent behaviour. His use of alcohol and drugs was getting him into trouble. Do you know that he once mocked his grandmother, the Queen, in a silly phone call while he was trying to show off in front of his friends? However, Harry had a very successful career in the army. He actually served twice in Afghanistan. However, Harry still made some mistakes, where he referred to some of his fellow servicemen with derogatory terms, like calling them puckies or towel heads. He was not politically correct and did not think before he spoke. Harry once had a girlfriend named Chelsea Davy, who came from Southern Africa. When he had been describing her, he said, Don't worry, it's not like she is black or anything. What a stupid thing to have been said, but the embarrassed royal family did all they could to clean up Harry's mess. Harry was once considered as being one of the most eligible bachelors in the world. He was free to sow his wild oats, and women loved him. He was seen as endearing with a wonderful sense of humour. Harry had had a few serious girlfriends, but he was restless and didn't seem to want to settle down. He preferred to be free without having too many responsibilities. And then one day, Harry's younger cousin, Princess Beatrice, introduced him to an American actress, and this was Meghan Markle. Harry fell head over heels in love with Meghan, and in a very short time, it seemed that she had cast a spell over him. Meghan had dug her claws into Harry, and he became a changed man. Megan's birth name is Rachel Megan Markle. But the girl from Southern California had decided to drop the Rachel while she was still at elementary school. Later, she had graduated from a Catholic girls' school and then she went on to attend Northwestern University. Megan has a father who is white and a mother who is black. Her father, Thomas Markle, had been a lighting designer for television shows such as Married with Children. Her mother, Doria Ragland, had been a black yoga instructor. She had also once run a little gift shop during Megan's childhood. Her parents unfortunately divorced when Megan was only five, and she then went on to split her time between them. Megan had had a very comfortable upbringing, although her family was by no means wealthy. It is believed that much of Megan's education had been funded when her father unexpectedly won the lottery. Megan was so completely different to Harry's former girlfriends. She pursued Harry confidently. She was like an eagle stalking its prey. In no time at all, Harry was like putty in Megan's hands. A few decades earlier, Meghan Markle would have been seen as being totally unsuitable as a spouse for Prince Harry. 
This isn't based on the fact that she is from a biracial background, but because of her nationality as an American person, as well as the fact that she had previously been divorced. Megan is far more worldly than Harry is, and she is also older than him. She had had a role in a regular TV show, but it didn't actually win her any extra points. Megan's most successful acting job had been in Suits, but you know most of the public, including Harry as her future husband, had not even been familiar with it. It seems more likely that television audiences would have remembered Megan as Suitcase Girl number 24 on the quiz show Deal or No Deal. They might have remembered her being in a commercial for Tostitos Corn Chips. Megan had never been a household name. She would most probably have wanted a slot in Law and Order. Surely, this was now her right, since she had married a prince. According to the royal family's historic standards, Megan's work as an actress was marginally likened to a thinly veiled prostitute. But Megan was now on the scene and the family surprisingly overlooked all of this. Megan was given special privileges by the Queen. She had been invited to join the royal family at Sandringham for Christmas. Not even Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, had received such an invitation prior to her marriage to William. The royal family had embraced Megan with warmth and grace. At Harry and Megan's wedding, which was internationally televised, we even saw Prince Charles, who walked Meghan down the aisle in place of her father, who was not well at the time. The royal family embraced the fact that times were changing and they welcomed Meghan into the palace and treated her as one of their own. The public followed the royal's lead and enthusiastically got swept up with all the romance. What we had here was a real-life Cinderella story. Megan had come from a relatively modest background, and she did not have much money of her own. Megan had created the blog called The Tig, she had put this together on her own and it showed that she was committed to middle-class New Age pursuits. Meghan did not get to marry a future king. Harry had always been the spare heir. Harry's position as a possible heir had further been supplanted when Prince William had his three children. The possibility of Meghan becoming Queen Consort is very slim, so her background was never important. Harry and Meghan failed to appreciate this at the time. Harry is now sixth in line to the throne. The royal family standards are now not as strict as they were previously. The Queen's sister Margaret had desperately wanted to marry a divorced man by the name of Peter Townsend. Parliament refused to support such a match, and Margaret was faced with giving up her position as a princess or giving Peter up. It must have been a heartbreaking decision, but Margaret chose instead to give Peter up instead of losing her Royal Highness status. 
The Queen had wanted to avoid further situations where she would have had to say no to prospective marriages within her family. After witnessing Princess Margaret's disappointment, the Queen insisted that more liberal guidelines for royal matchmaking be followed. This is why Harry did not face any opposition when he chose Meghan for his wife. So much had changed since Harry's father, Prince Charles, had been forced to marry his mother Diana. Charles had been in love with Camilla Parker Bowles and she was the woman he truly would have preferred to have married. But in 1980, this was out of the question because Camilla had previously been married. So in the end, Charles married Lady Diana Spencer and their marriage was not happy at all. The good thing, though, is that they produced two lovely children. Part one of this video series tells us about Harry's tragic end after marrying Meghan Markle. We'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Do not forget to share this video as well as subscribe to the Sussex Daily News channel for more interesting videos from our team. Now goodbye and see you tomorrow.